Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tarver Academy. I'm Tyler Tarver, your host on this magic carpet ride. And today we're going to learn some math. That's right. We're learning about irrational numbers. Kind of. Well, we're learning about them through an example problem. <laughs> okay. If you could hit the red subscribe button, that'd be great. Um, that way you can come back and learn not just math, but everything ever. Yeah, you're going to get better. Okay. So let's work this problem together. Here we go. It says, how many irrational numbers are there between one and six? Okay. Well, this problem's not very hard if you know what an irrational number is. Okay. Not to be confused with a whole number, which means it's like, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, five, or a real number or a natural number, which I have videos on as well. We're talking about an irrational number. And what an irrational number is, it is not a whole number. It is not, you know, one, two, or four, or eight. Those are not real, those are not irrational numbers. Rational numbers, they're rational. They can be, they can be, they can calm down. If you're rational, you're calm. You know what's calm? A two, a five, even a two over five. Those are all rational numbers. You know why? Because they end as a decimal. They just go and they, they're either a whole number or they're a decimal, nice and short and sweet. Oh, that's lovely. Irrational numbers are not. Irrational numbers, they're crazy. They never stop. Dot two, eight, six, five, three, one, four, and you're just like, that's too many numbers, I quit. Okay? Pi. Remember pi? 3.14 apple pie. You got pi. That is an irrational number because it goes on forever. So, when they ask how many irrational numbers are between one and six, there's not one because guess what? Pi's in there and that's one. You're like, oh, is pi the only irrational number? No. An irrational number is anything that just keeps going. It doesn't stop, okay? So, you can't just have one in there. And at any point, I could just be like, oh, from pi, I'm going to go up two hundredths of a decimal that keeps going forever as well. Like you can just keep picking it because between one and two, the numbers one and two, you could have infinite options. One point zero four two eight two five two six five 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 two two three. You can just keep going. Like it could keep going. And any number that can't be put into a fraction or as a decimal that stops and a fraction that actually makes it stop as a decimal whenever it's like converted, that's irrational. So it's not one. Not three, sound like LeBron James. Not four, not 10, it's infinitely many. Because between even just one and two, much less one and six, you can go as far as you want in the decimals because there's an infinite number of numbers below a decimal. You can't go like, oh, I'm, it's 4.04428, and that's as low as we can go. No, you can go infinity. And so it's infinitely many irrational numbers. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for learning with us today at Tarver Academy. I hope you learned something. I hope you got better. Have a great day. Subscribe. Stay awesome. That's all I got.